very first sketchbook. I found it. It's here. It's from 2000 and 2004. Gosh, 2004. Oh. <laughs> it's not very good. Um, oh. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't maybe have that many skills or that much talent back then but there are things in this sketchbook which I think are really interesting because there are kind of clues and signposts and things in here which I'm still interested in and still appear in my artwork but back then I wasn't very good I didn't have enough skills or enough experience to know how to create the art I wanted to create and so therefore some of the pages are really bad <gasps> um some of the pages are really bad I do want to show you this sketchbook okay. <laughs> let's get on with it <laughs> I literally went to the art shop bought this sketchbook, bought loads of materials, came home and thought, I know, I'm gonna make some abstract art. <laughs> I didn't know how to make abstract art. I didn't know anything about composition, didn't know how to use materials, but I was trying. That is what I was doing. Um, and I can see that I'm obviously wanting to layer different materials together, and I still do that. I mean, look at this page. Look at this awful page. Terrible. Awful. I mean, abstract art is hard. I'd also like to say this is before YouTube, before Instagram. I had no idea. But, 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 I can see all these tiny little motifs and patterns and ornament and decoration. And they're things I'm still interested in now. I'm here, I'm drawing on a tube map, I think. Interested in maps, always been interested in the lines of maps, the dots, the lines. This is a pencil drawing, I don't know if you can see that because it's probably quite faint. I definitely had an interest in maps, oh dear. Look at this, really over the top. Need some space. But I can still see that my sort of fascination with circles. You know, I had, I think I had, had not even been to a class at this point. So I was literally just buying materials and thinking I could have a go. <laughs> but look at this line work. This is really reminiscent of some of the line work I do at the moment. I bought a sketchbook, one of my current-ish sketchbooks. And um, you can see the lines, the dots. There are some things that just follow through. <laughs> 18 years later, it's like I'm monoprinting onto photocopies. That's interesting. Photocopies, I still do lots of photocopies. So you can see I'm interested in like layers, playing with materials, shiny paint, all these things that I still love. Layers, that kind of revealing and concealing. I can see the beginnings of where I am now. And it's really interesting. Oh my goodness. So this is terrible. I remember this was my first collage. So I painted on some paper and then I thought, I know, I'll just make a collage. But I mean, what a mess. I didn't have any knowledge of composition or what I was doing. But I still love paper, cussing painting paper, sticking it in. What does this say? Ran random beauty of the blotted page. Yeah, I still love all those sorts of dots and smudges and drips and the, the way that the paint is sometimes, or this is ink I think, sometimes just has a life of its own. I love all those happy surprises. Oh, it's quite interesting all the things I've written. I've put random nature, organic colour, pattern, layers, revealing, transparency, looking through curves, dots, circles. These are all the things that I'm still interested in. What's this? Oh my goodness, no! This is funny. I'm talking about an artist's book, which I'm now obsessed with. So that's hilarious. 
I've put surprise, small objects, things to play with, objects you can touch. Yeah, I love books. And I think I'd started going to a class. Yeah, I had. I'd started going to a class here and I'm sort of sticking things in. I can see where I'm trying to get to with these pages. Oh my goodness, they're terrible. <laughs> I can see what I'm trying to do. I just don't have the ability at this point to do it. I've put new, pe new pencils, pastel pencils. Yeah, but I can see all this sort of colour and line and pattern and mark making is still evident in my artwork. Photocopying. So this was a drawing that I photocopied and I really, I think this drawing, I remember being so proud of it. This is just a photocopy of it. It was a pencil drawing and I loved it so much. And I think it was actually of a, I copied it from a photograph of some bicycles and it just made me feel like there was some hope. <laughs> And here I've cut it up again. So cutting up photocopies. So let's see this more recent sketchbook. So this sort of shiny iridescent paint which was in my old sketchbook. That line work. Um, I think there's some photocopies in here. Yeah, look. Here are some um, here are some pages that I've made with photocopy here. All those dots and lines. So, <laughs> what I wanted this video to really show you, everyone has to start somewhere. <laughs> and I think it takes a lot of making art. I think you have to make a lot of art to make art that you love, that you're, you're proud of, and that you, in that way, can find your style, find what you're interested in. So these pages here are very shiny. <laughs> I've photocopied maps and butterfly wings and I've got glitter, thrown everything at it. I really loved these kind of magpie glittery things. I love that sensibility of that sort of luminosity and shine. And here I've got really intricate, intricate marks and lines. So there we go. That is my first sketchbook from when I was probably about 29 and coming back to art making, having not done anything since school. And it's the only sketchbook that has survived from that period of my life. I used to throw them out. Um, but I'm so glad that I kept that one because it's so interesting to look back. It's such a powerful thing to do to go back and track my progress, see how I've improved, see how I've developed, see the skills that I've learned, but also to see, you know, that actually some of my innate interests are still the same. And that's quite a lovely thing. So. I think that's one of the really beautiful things about sketchbook. It helps you to track progress, but it's also a place to progress. So, you know, I feel that working in a sketchbook has really helped my art to flourish and develop because it's kind of safe place. The sketchbooks I use have got about 100 pages, and so that's a lot of opportunity to make art and to learn and to improve. So I hope that was helpful. I hope it possibly gave you a little bit of encouragement and um, cheerleading to keep going if you're at a point where you don't like what you're creating in your sketchbook. Um, <laughs> it does get better.